today's video, I'll be discussing which rides you must ride first when visiting Disney's Animal Kingdom. This information is based on ride popularity and on which rides develop a long standby wait line. As a bonus, I'll include tips on which rides to fast pass if you can, so you can squeeze in more attractions and have less time waiting in line. Hi, I'm Holly, and welcome to It's a Great Disney Day, a channel dedicated to helping you plan the best Walt Disney World vacation for your family. If you're new to the channel, be sure and hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified next time I upload a money and time saving video. Animal Kingdom is my favorite. Its major attractions are Flights of Passage, Navi River Journey, Expedition Everest, and Kilimanjaro Safari. Flights of Passage is the number one fast pass priority in all of Disney World. It's not unheard of for it to have three to four hour waits. This ride develops a wait time within minutes of park opening, so if you can't ride it with the fast pass, ride it before crowds arrive or at the end of the day when there will be a little bit of a standby wait. The number two priority ride is Navi River Journey. This is a relaxing boat ride that's nice and it's not quite as thrilling as Flights of Passage. But because it's in Pandora, it develops a long standby wait time pretty early. Both of Pandora's rides are Tier 1 attractions and you can only book Fast Passes for one of them. So my advice is to book whichever one you can preferably Flights of Passage. Whichever Fast Pass you do get, ride the other Pandora attraction first at Rope Drop before using your Fast Pass. If you followed my Rope Drop suggestions, you should have ridden both Pandora rides and be exiting by 9.30. This is the golden time in the rest of the park, so take advantage of low wait times on Everest, Kilimanjaro Safari, and Dinosaur. If you can get Fast Passes for those rides, try and book for the 10 to 10.30 time frame. Now it's best to move on to Expedition Everest. Before 10, Everest won't likely have a wait, so ride in the standby line, even if you have a fast pass. Kilimanjaro Safari should be ridden as soon as possible. Lines will start growing before 10 a.m. If fast passes for the four major attractions are not available, booking fast passes for other attractions will help shave off some time spent in lines. Book fast passes for Rivers of Light, Dinosaur, Adventures Outpost if you have little ones, Kali River Rapid, Primeval World, Festival of the Lion King, Finding Nemo the Musical, and It's Tough to Be a Bug after lunch when they will likely be most crowded. The primary thing to keep in mind when booking fast passes at Animal Kingdom is to book for rides with the longest wait time at a time when the ride will have 20 minute or longer standby waits. So, here are some things to keep in mind. If you drive to the park, you can arrive around 7.30 for a 9 a.m. opening. That will help you be at the front of the Pandora rope drop crowd. Head to Flights of Passage first, followed by Navi River Journey, then Expedition Everest and Kilimanjaro Safari. If you want another ride on Expedition Everest, use a single rider line to cut your standby wait time in half. Everything else is pretty manageable by watching your My Disney Experience app. But do you agree with my ride choices? Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure and give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And wherever you are, be sure to make it a great Disney day. See ya!